since I do quite a bit of audio products such as earbuds, headphones, and what have you, what about studio monitors? What are my daily drivers, you may ask? I would be telling you that I sport the Audio-Technica ATH MX50s. <sighs> Mouthful. I liked them so much, I even got the Bluetooth version. Um, but a word of advice, don't use the Bluetooth version if you're editing because the latency is a little off and it just doesn't work as well. But what about the ones that don't want to spend that $150 to $200 for a pair of studio monitors? Good news for you guys. I'm glad you're here. Stick around because I'm about to show you a pair of studio monitors that I think are just as comparable and a hell of a lot less. Roll the intro. Why they speak like they knew me? Right from the gate, I had all of it written. When they speak of grace, no one they didn't include me. It took me a while. I weathered a storm. Bitch, why you hating? Get better informed. No room to slip when the pressure is on. You wasn't with it to move it along. I said, excuse me. You don't understand where I'm at. I was all around the world. On span, cross the map. I've been laying low and now it's time to pop up. Bitch, I'm back. Now I'm gonna run it up. Schools on a kid that you dumb or what? You better go get your numbers up. <laughs> guys welcome back to the channel that's right we're posting out another video like i promised i am going to kick out as many as i can while i'm on my holiday break for those of you that are finding me here for the first time or if you're new to the channel first and foremost mikasa yukasa However the hell that goes. Ah, welcome to the studio. Make yourselves right at home. My name is Brandon No D. That's right, there's absolutely no D belonging in this name. Hence, Brandon, not Brandon. But hey, feel free to let's go Brandon. So on today's episode, we're going over a pair of studio monitors. In fact, this is the One Audio. They're calling it the Monitor 60s which are a professional studio headset. So you know they're directing this towards obviously audiophiles, DJs, editors like myself, content creators. You need a good pair of headphones, there is no doubt about it. But before we get deeper into today's product, do you guys like what you've seen so far on the channel? Because if you do, I encourage you, don't just do me a favor, do yourselves a favor. Hit my subscribe button, hit the bell, hit all, to be notified in all the crazy content that yours truly provides. And I will make a promise right here on this channel. That's right, guys, I make promises to deliver you excellent quality, as you can see behind me and in front of you. But above all, honest reviews, because you guys deserve it. And that is how I roll on this channel. Oh, and by the way, for anybody that's going to get all crazy on me down in the comments, let me reassure you that I am definitely not comparing apples to apples when it comes to the one audio versus the audio technicas, okay? So we're going to clear the air right off the bat. This set is merely uh, a budget set, if you will, but sounds fantastic. So let's go ahead and jump upstairs and see what all comes in the box. All right, coming in the box, you're going to get the One Audio 
pamphlet, which is nice. They got their logo on the top here. And then you have a fold out, like an accordion style, which I think they put a lot of detail in and I commend them for that. I love it when companies just do that attention to detail uh, on cosmetics. I like it. I'm sure you guys like it as well. You get a few different languages and how to use your product. Pretty cut and dry, easy. You don't really need this, but hey, it looks sharp. You're gonna get three cables, okay? One long three and a half millimeter to a three and a half millimeter cable. One three and a half millimeter to a three and a half millimeter with a mic. That's right, guys. They're saying you can use these for phone calls. If you're in the middle of editing and you're using this on a laptop or something and you get a phone call coming in, could be quite useful. Then you'll get your 6.35 to a 3.5 millimeter coiled cable, which I absolutely love. I'm so happy that one audio decided to give us all three options. I love that when a company just gives that extra. I mean, shouldn't they all? And then they even include this nice pouch to keep the dust off. Now it's pretty thin. Um, definitely not real leather, it's faux leather, but uh, it cinches up and it's gonna be nice to keep the dust off when you're not using your headphones. All right, guys, let's talk about the One Audio monitor 60s and right off the bat man when i seen these cans i'm like holy mega they're huge the cups are real plush i love it they have the right the left in stitched and they also have the right and left on the buttons on the outside too so there is no mistaking right from left which is kind of nice for people like me and then they have the one audio stitched on the top again plush leather and how much memory foam are these? Let's find out. Okay, they, they come out pretty fast, so it's not real slow. So I'm not going to say there's actually memory foam in these, but they are super duper comfortable. Let me show you what I mean. These are some really nice cans. Very soft. Doesn't seem to put any pressure whatsoever on my glasses, which is nice. And another great feature, all studio monitors should definitely flip out of the way so you can hang them on your neck. Or if you're DJing, you wanna hold it up to your ear. That is done quite often as a DJ. Of course, I'm not a DJ, but I've seen it done many times. Now you're gonna have the slide outs right here on each side. So if you have a big melon, you will be set. Now something on these that I find extremely unique is the fact that they give us both options for the three and a half millimeter or the 6.35 millimeter. I have a three and a half millimeter jack connected to my computer, so that won't do me any justice for the 6.35. So in that case, I get to use this side of it, plug it in, and now I have my three and a half millimeter jack, right? Now, if you have a 6.35 stereo connection and you gotta go that way, you can connect it on the other side and now you're able to use the 6.35 millimeter into a different connection. I think that was ingenious, I really do. I love the idea of that. I wish actually Audio-Technica did that. I think that would be really cool. Now, however, the only drawback I found with that is if you are using the 6.35 millimeter as the external, you're going to have the cable on the right side. Now, I'm used to having my cable on the left side with my Audio-Technicas. So, that being said, just depends. You can always get an adapter as well to uh, downsize to the three and a half millimeter, but however you want to use it, maybe you're used to having the cable on the left versus the right, what have you. But for me, I'm used to them on the left. All right, let's nerd out with me real quickly. I'll go over the specs of these and then we'll go ahead and give you guys some pros and cons. And we're gonna get you out of here quickly today because there's really not much details I can go over with a pair of studio monitors but uh, we can definitely cover everything you need to know. Let's go. All right, the One Audios are coming with high res audio certified, okay? That is important. You want that on a pair of studio monitors. 50 millimeter drivers, which are gonna play the highs, the lows, and mids exactly where you want them. It's not gonna be real super bassy. Now, you guys have to keep that in mind. When you're getting a pair of studio monitors, it pertains to all the right sounds at the right moments in the right spot. 
okay? So a few of you may be wondering, what are these really for? I mean, should I use them for listening to music all the time? Absolutely, if you wanna enjoy music, these are going to be perfect. You can watch TV with these, they can plug into a TV. In fact, they are compatible not only with PCs and laptops, but phones and Mac as well. So, great news. What they're really designed for is DJs, audiophiles, content creators that are editing with video. You want that sound to be precise and right on the money. Like I said, when I used my Bluetooth headphones by Audio-Technica, the sound was still there, but it was offset a little bit. I found that when I edited my videos, it sounded good to the ear at the time, but then when I posted the video out, it was just a smidgen off. So you're definitely gonna want wired when you're mixing or in post-production or video editing. All right, let's cover some pros and cons real quickly, and then obviously I can get you guys out of here because it's Sunday, and I'm sure you have much better things to do than listen to me jibber-jabber, okay? Pros, great sound, all right? These have amazing sound. When I plugged into my PC and started listening to audio files on these, I was blown away, okay? I promise you that you will not be disappointed with these, and wait till you hear the price. It's coming soon. Another pro is they were nice enough to give us three different cables, a pouch, and a stand. I mean, yeah, the stand's not the best in the world, but it's still a stand. And let me tell you, Audio-Technica doesn't give me a stand. And last but not least, the best pro of all is the price. Right now, you can get a pair of these One Audios on Amazon for $79.99, but wait, it gets better. They're giving you a 15% coupon, which will drop the price to $67.99, okay? Studio monitors, mixing, post-production, and editing for under $70, okay? ATH 50 MXs are still going for $149, guys, with no coupon, okay? It's a no-brainer by far. You're gonna save yourself quite a bit of money. Now, I'm not saying don't go out and buy the Audio Technicas because I love them and I still use them to this day. But if you need a good pair for on the road or just an extra pair to have around, these are gonna be the beast to pick up, okay? Although I am not sponsored or endorsed through One Audio whatsoever, they merely send me out the product and I do you guys the review. And I was very happy to get a pair of these and I'm gonna be very happy to have them around. So I'll be sure to leave you guys an affiliate link down in the description below and where you can pick up a pair of these. Or if you're feeling feisty this holiday season, I'll be sure to leave you the Audio Technicas as well. All right, now that all the pros and the hype is all out of the way, it's time for the cons because not everything is perfect in this world we live in. We all know that. Con number one, even though the material is metal on the headband, okay, it is plastic around the cups that hold these. It's all plastic. I'm not sure how well that's gonna hold up in time, but as of what I've seen so far, it looks pretty darn good. Oh, and by the way, these cups, do they come off? Oh yeah, look at that. Take the cups right off and put new ones on. So when those wear out, nice to know, you can definitely throw yourself a new pair on and you're good to go. The last con I'm gonna say is they are extremely flimsy, okay? When it comes to these moving, I wish it was a little tighter, so when you turned it, it would stay. But uh, yeah, so I'm constantly, you know, I mean, obviously these fold up, but they spin around so much that it is kind of annoying that they are so flimsy. Again, you have to consider the price for a good pair of studio headphones. Even the Audio Technicas aren't the most expensive out there. There's a lot more expensive out there. But to get you guys on your way of creating and making great content, check out yourself a pair. You won't be disappointed. All right, that's going to be it for today's review. But first, we're going to go ahead and open a fortune cookie. That's right. We open fortune cookies on the channel. Uh, what time do we got here? Uh, what time is it? Ah, it's one o'clock. I got one hour to go before I can eat this. So you guys are spared of me chewing on film because I'm doing that intermittent fasting and it's working so far. 
I mean, at least I'm losing weight. All right, let's pull the fortune out when we have to break it. Look at that. The loss which is unknown is no loss at all. Kind of reminds me, wherever you go, there you are. Duh. Guys, would you do me a huge favor? Would you like and share this video as it helps the channel grow tremendously? Thanks for watching. And remember, I'll be seeing you in my next video. I said, excuse me, you don't understand where I'm at. I was all around the world, on span, cross the map. I've been laying low and now it's time to pop up, bitch, I'm back. Now I'm gonna run it up. Snooze on the kid that you dumb or what? You better go get your numbers up. Now throw me the oop I gotta hire a Jerry Maguire I'm tired of hearing it, show me the loot I had to listen, they told me to shoot